was published on September the 2nd. So remember, after Joshua and Alexander Usyk, they fought on, what, August the 23rd? So this is him responding. <laughs> Listen, it, it's funny because it says it's a, it's a response to a call out from Manuel Char. But no, Manuel Char was challenged by Fury. Fury just out of nowhere starts talking shit to Char. Char is not even ranked. What the fuck would Char be doing trying to call out anybody? So just take a listen. Diamond boy. I got a certain little middleweight that I gotta put that fist through first. However, if he don't want no smoke, you can surely get it. Pressure will break diamonds. Manuel Char. So it seems now that AJ's finally out, he's ducked his way out in a shitbag, coward, and you're the man who wants to fight. So I like that. I like the fact that you're very vocal and the fact that you're calling for a fight like a real man should do. Any man who wants to fight another man should call him out, as you've been doing to me. So I accept your challenge, Manuel Char. Let's get it on, motherfucker! Wow. And Manuel Char is the one responding to him. Not the other way around. Not the other way around. Joe Joyce can crack. He broke Parker down all night long. Not the, the other way around. And let's be let's be frank on this, right? Five years ago, right? They had a situation where Tyson Fury's all big and fat. We'll play this. This is from five years ago. Okay, he got confronted by Manuel Char. This is five years ago. Let's see what the audio sounds like. This is five years ago. And Tyson Fury's big and fat right there, He's like sloppy fat. And this is five years ago. So him and Manuel Char has crossed paths before to a certain extent. And now everybody's separating them so a fight doesn't break out. This big WWE type shit. Okay. I wish I could have showed you guys this, but you know what copyrights and all that bullshit. Um, yeah, at the end of the day. This is something that they have been trying to work on already. It's not anything new. Nothing new. Nothing new. And this guy has never been shit. So, when you're up and coming, when you're fighting certain fights, you're, you're cherry-picked for certain people, okay? But at this stage in your career, no. No, not Manuel Char. Not Manuel Char. That's disgraceful. See, let me just add, people, the reason that Manuel Cha, right, the reason that, that he's saying that Tyson Fury is ducking him is because Tyson Fury said some shit to him. You understand what I'm saying? So now when he calls out Anthony Joshua, he had already reached out to him after the fight with Anthony Joshua and Usyk too. So now he's saying he's breaking. Why? Simply because, simply because Fury had already talked that shit. And mind you, Frank Warren himself, what did he say? We're already looking at other possibilities. Char, Chisara. Okay. And this man already said he has a three-fight deal with Tyson Fury, Joe Joyce, and Daniel Dubois. I mean, like, really? <laughs> so this is not the first time Fury crossed paths, and Fury has a history of taking easy fights. So Manuel Char would have been on it just like Otto Ali, and I forget the other guy's name, but fights that nobody wanted to see. And it's funny because he got cut and was actually getting, you know, no giving, getting, getting, receiving some work from Otto Ali. And, you know, of course, he came back and started to take over the fight, but still. And this is the same guy that just told Joe Joyce. He has to build himself up. He's not ready yet. He's not in the big leagues yet. But Manuel Char is. 
Are you kidding me? Manuel Char is. So if you can't get if you can't get AJ, and let's say Usyk decides he want to fight Wilder instead, or he has to fight Joyce, and Joyce is the WBO mandatory. So if, if Usyk doesn't wind up fighting Joyce, I mean I would be embarrassed. I I would actually be insulted. The thought of even being in the same ring with Manuel Char. Unless he was the referee or some shit like that. As, a, as an opponent? Come on. Let's be real. Okay, so this was on September 27th. Okay, so this was a response, another response from Manuel Char to Tyson Fury. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tyson. You make a good choice and good decision to fight the best. Brother, we will give our fans the best show ever. Make sure you are To fight the best. This man just considered himself the best. <laughs> yeah, okay. And mind you, these guys, this stem back years ago. Where these guys, this is when Tyson Fury, I guess, was like first coming back to fight in the, before the Wilder fight. Before he even before he even fought out of Wale, like this was on his road, his his, his comeback road, because he was really really sloppy, really really sloppy, big and sloppy. Tyson Fury was easy three fifty three sixty in that video, easy. Now let's listen at this video. This is published on the 29th. Okay, let's listen to what Manuel Char says to Tyson Fury. Fury, you are the same shit like Anthony Joshua. A man is a man. When you say Joshua is out, he's out. You told everyone you won't fight me. Now you are like a duck. Take the fight. Okay. Fury. Now you just heard what he just said. So these guys have been going back and forth for a long time now. They've had, like, y'all didn't see the video. But you can go in there and look on it where he shoved, uh, uh, Fury shoved him. They, they had a little shoving match and then everybody got in between them. That was, that was, that was some years ago. Um, listen, this is, you know, this is trash. This is, this is really trash. This is, this is actually embarrassing to actually see that this shit is actually ha even happening. Just think about it. This man is saying Fury's ducking him now because, yes, he says one thing, then, he's, then he says something completely different. You already said that, you know, Anthony Joshua, after all of this, first, first, first of all, you didn't want to fight Usyk. First, you were retired. You're not fighting anybody. Then you want half a Billy. You ain't getting no fucking half a Billy. <laughs> you ain't worth that. You ain't, there's nobody, not, there's nobody you can fight that they're going to give you half a billion dollars. All right? Nobody. So at the end of the day, all this talk about fighting and Ganu and this guy is trying to bring attention to himself to build his brand. You told everybody, and, and Manuel Charles right, Anthony Josh was out. Hey, you know, and you did say that. That 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 Anthony Josh was out. Frank Warren went so far as to say that you were very disappointed, even though he said he hadn't spoke to you in a week, right? But he said that you were very disappointed that you didn't get the Anthony Joshua fight. Yet, you were the one that pulled out. Nobody made you pull out. You pulled out. So now, after you tell everybody that, then you say that you're fighting Manuel Char, right? You tell Manuel Char, let's get it on, motherfucker, and all this shit. You want to fight him. But then you turn around, and then you tell Anthony Joshua, and then they have until they, like, you, you give him another extension. You're the one playing these games. You're stroking your own ego, but you're making such an ass out of yourself in the process, man. Like I said, this is despicable. Now, just listen to what Shane Fury says when they're asked about if this fight doesn't happen between... The, he's talking about Anthony Joshua and Fury, right? Where does Fury go from here? I want y'all to just listen to his response. Final question before you get off. Um, yeah, where does Tyson go next if this fight doesn't happen, mate? He's going to have a run out with someone what's in my shape uh, and have a proper camp, proper sparring, lots of southport sparring and get prepped for Usyk. Because no one in their right mind is going to roll the dice with a big fight with a £100 million on line 
to satisfy some idiots in armchairs. So he's going to be probably fighting probably Manuel Char, which I can have a good tussle with myself um, and have an easy run out. But he's going to have in that camp, he's going to have world class southpaw sparring. He's going to get his body in shape and then he's going to get, give his body a little rest and then he's going to go on the big fight for the unification fight and give Usek a boxing lesson. And if that can't happen because he's in his southpaw stance and he's struggling with that, he can take it to him from round one to round 12 and dogfight. And if Usek can. Did y'all hear what he said? If this doesn't happen, he's going to have to run out, get in proper shape, have a proper, a proper training camp, right? He said, basically, and box a lot of South Pauls to get ready for Usyk. Key words, proper, a proper training camp. Everything is proper, right? Meaning, enough time and everything that he needs to get this done. And he also said, this is an easy fight. He admitted, and he said, Manuel Char, it's an easy, you know, get an easy fight. And, you know, at the same time, he's, you know, getting ready for Usyk. Listen, people. <laughs> so, it's okay for Tyson Fury to have a full training camp. But AJ's not supposed to have a full training camp. So, when we... Touch on the point constantly that he didn't want him to have a full training camp. And this is why he's rushing and making it a big deal about he have to fight by this date or that date. And see, what if nothing happens the way it's supposed to and then they end up fighting on a different date anyway? Now, you heard exactly what he said. So basically, and what do you say? He said, you think he's going to nobody's going to rush into a fight with a hundred 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 hundred. Uh, uh, a million pounds on the table, right? Just to satisfy some idiots in armchairs. Exactly. When I said, if AJ is accepting this fight because he feels that he's ready, he's ready for this challenge, he's confident he can beat Fury, fine. But if he's doing it to impress people, if he's doing it to make people say, or he's worried about them saying that he's ducking or he's scared, he's doing it for the wrong reason. So, Exactly. When I say Fury knows how this goes, he's being unfair. I mean, so the 60-40 is not unfair. Now, the 50-50 in the rematch, I could say is unfair. Because if he lost, well, hey, you're no longer the champ. But this is coming from a guy that says it's not about the money. He doesn't care about the money, right? But again, everything was proper. Make sure that everything is done right. So he has that right. So wait, when you're the A side, that means they can say, oh, you only get two-week training camp. Can they, can they control that? No, absolutely not. <laughs> but that's what he's trying to do. Everything is rushed. The training doesn't go the way it's supposed to. And he's in there. And because he's getting more money than he would fighting these other guys. Oh, so what? Stop it, man. Stop it. See, this is exactly the point. That's exactly the point. Anthony Joshua agreed to all the other terms. But it comes down to other details between the broadcasters. And at the same time. People still talking about, yeah, but this and this. In other words, just forget it. Let's just have a fight. It don't matter if I win or lose, I get paid. Bottom line. Like he said, nobody's going to go into a fight with 100 million pounds on the table and, and take it lightly. Okay, same thing. The same thing. It's not just about show up, collect the check, and leave. Hey, I lost, but I got paid. No, that's not what it's about. That's not what it's about. And he just expressed that. And he also, also called Manuel Char an easy fight. Because that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is. So all the talking, all the shit talking, all the, I don't care about all that. I don't even feed into that nonsense. Just saying, look at what's going on. Listen at what was just being said. What goes for one goes for the other. The same way you want a proper um, training camp. The same way. See, and understand, you better believe Tyson Fury has already been training. So you got to be stupid to think that right now, oh, he hasn't been training. He just started training since he said Anthony Joshua's name. No, he's already been keeping in, 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 in shape. And, and, and you know, he'll, he'll be ready. That's why he can go on the third, 20, uh, 27th or the, or the, or the, uh, on the uh, December 3rd. Because he's already, he was, he was already, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm doing what he had to do. So, we, like we said, it's not about the fighting shape for Anthony Joshua because we know he's in fighting shape. It was the mental aspect. But again, 
he made it crystal clear just now and what he was saying in terms of this fight being making sure that he's in proper shape, proper training camp, everything is right. Not hard to understand. What's good, people? It's about that time to randomly relate, reverse rant, no hate. I want you guys to take a good look at Manuel Char. Okay, he got beat by Vitaly Klitschko. He got stopped off of a cut. He got destroyed by Pebeck and just got beat up. And then there's a guy who I know absolutely nothing about that pretty much flattened him, beat him worse than Vitaly and, and, and uh, Pebeck and did, which just means he was worse of a fighter. I don't even know how he got to fight with Vitaly. But Vitaly looked like he's in there playing. He doesn't even look serious. Let's just face it. You know, this guy, Manuel Char, is trash. And pretty much... There's a lot of people who don't even know who the hell he is. I just want everybody to see who the current WBC World Heavyweight Champion is that people consider the number one or number two best heavyweight right now. And this is who he chose to fight. You know... Joe Joyce tweeted him a couple of days after the fight with Parker. And he told him, like, yo, let's get it going, big boy, the number one and the number two heavyweights. You know, let's fight for the lineal championship, or, you know, something to that effect, right? Well, Tyson Fury responded and told him that, you know, you're not ready just yet. You know, he has to take care of the middleweight first. And then he says... Plus, you have to build yourself up. Well, if Tyson, if, if Joe Joyce has to build himself up, please tell me, tell me how you sat there and told Manuel Char in your little video, I like someone that likes to step up to the challenge. I like that. Anyone, anyone, anyone can, 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 can get the smoke and all that or whatever, right? But you turn down Joe Joyce. You're saying you have to fight the middleweight first. First, you said you did want to fight him. You had no interest, right? But now, you know, you, 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 you're making all this noise. You're talking. You know, meanwhile, we have Deontay Wilder calling out, you know, telling Joe Joyce to be a man of his word. You might not even be the next person to fight Usyk. But you told him that. You like you like the fact that he steps up like a man. Well, also, you know what's so crazy? You see? These tweets that are put up that came directly from Tyson Fury. And when other outlets post them, they post them the same day. Okay? And I'm talking like IFL. You know, all these other different big companies that have uh, YouTube and Instagram. All right, you're going, to make, you're going to make Vladimir jump over that rope and knock your ass out. Boy, you better calm down. So, just, just look at this guy. But yeah, after, after, this is why I tried to get like the, 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 the date that the tweets were posted as well. So, you guys can see. Um, after, it's like September the 2nd. Okay, remember, AJ and... Uh, AJ and Usyk fought on the 23rd. So, when he sent the tweet out to Anthony Joshua, it was September 2nd, saying that, uh, what do you want to do, Big G, talking about that, you know, Usyk is bitching. Look at this guy. He's flexing and posing, but not throwing shit. Just standing there getting punched around. This, this guy can't fight worth a shit, man. He is trash. He, he comes off as a guy that probably was getting into fights in the street. Probably was in trouble with the police and shit, and people just told him that, man, why don't you, why don't you get in the ring? Why don't you do it legally? I mean, try to make some money instead of getting yourself in trouble, you know. And I think he, you know, he has more added, more more ego and attitude than he does ability. So he probably felt like, you know, yeah, I could do that. Probably got in there with some meatballs, you know, held his own against some meatballs or whatever. They pumped him up because make him think he's better than what he is. Because this, this guy is trash. And I'm just 
playing this for those who've never seen this guy. He's garbage. And this is who your current champion is fighting. Current WBC champion is fighting Manuel Char. Okay. Anyway, that was the second. Okay, that was on the second. Manuel Char, you see that he has a he has a a, a a a a message sent out where he says he has a three fight deal with Frank Warren. Remember, Frank Warren said out of his own mouth that they were looking for other possibilities, and he brought up it was him that brought up Manuel Char's name and Derek Chisora's name. Well, in this message, you see it that Manuel Char. Look at this guy. This guy's fucking trash. Trash. You know how long ago Pavekin retired? You know how long ago uh, 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 Klitschko retired? And we're talking about Vitaly. He retired before Vladimir. This guy was getting his ass. This is where the losses come from. He can't, he can't compete with elite guys at all. He's just a punching bag, man. Okay. So, Manuel Cha, he, he, he basically sent the message, a tweet and a, a message uh, that was actually... Um, Typed in by from from another magazine source or something or some some reporter or whatever, but he clearly said, "Look at them shots." That's right, knock his ass out, Pavekin. Can't believe if Fury's fighting this guy, this guy. So basically, um, he said he has a three fight deal. Okay, I'm not even gonna talk because he's about to get stretched. I don't even know who this guy is. He's fighting. And this guy fought, look, 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 look at this shit, two times in five years. Boom. And this is who Tyson Fury chooses to fight. This is who Tyson Fury chooses to fight. Yeah. Back to what I was saying. He actually said he has a three fight deal. Okay? A three fight deal with Frank Warren, right? With the zone, saying, and this is also on the zone's page, that he has a three fight deal to fight three of Frank Warren's guys Tyson Fury. Okay? Tyson Fury, Daniel Dubois. And Joe Joyce. So I guess they're all just fighting him up, fat, fattening him up, right? So, Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois, and Tyson Fury, and he says his choice would be Tyson Fury first. That, what you just saw, that is who Tyson Fury is fighting. That guy. So, if you look at the dates that those videos were put out with Tyson Fury saying, you know, praising him for taking the challenge and he likes that, he, you know, someone with heart, I just say it was way too soon. What I mean is he wasn't patient enough to let enough time go by because if you, if that, 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 one message where he's saying, I got to fight a middleweight first. That video came after. After. Usyk had told him he wasn't going to be ready by December because he had injuries that, that had to heal, right? Why would you even say you have a middleweight to take care of? And in fact, it's the same day, the 20th or the 22nd, I think the 22nd, where he actually... No, it was the same day that he asked Anthony Joshua, what are you doing, Big G? Okay, the same day. And then he's saying, he's trying to, see, here's where he's trying to lie, try to make it sound like this is Manuel Char wanting to call him out. No, you guys called him out. And in fact, of course, Frank Warren didn't need to talk about Joe Joyce or Daniel Dubois, you know, um, fighting against fighting against uh, Manuel Char. He didn't need to talk about them. Manuel Char talked, he spoke too soon. Let the cat out the back. So basically, 
You're telling me you talked to Manuel Cha and Anthony Joshua the same day you, you reached out to the both of them? You see what I'm saying? He had already been talking shit about Manuel Cha. But he tried to make the, he tried to make it look like Manuel Cha is calling him out. But Manuel Cha is saying, no, you promised me a fight. You, you call my name. You understand? You call my name. So, 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 you know, you be a man of your word. Fight me. Yes. Ah, you're calling, calling, calling out the champ. I like that. No, 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 no. You guys already had that plan. See, this is why when I, when I hear certain things, it's just like, you do your homework on situations. He basically, so basically you call out Manuel Char the same day you reach out to uh, Anthony Joshua. So, like I said, if, look, look, for the people that say it, it makes no sense for him to, all right, think about that. It makes no sense for him to have a tough fight before he fights Usyk, which goes to show you you're just, you're proving my point. If that would be the case, yes, that means he didn't want Anthony Joshua at 100%. Is Anthony Joshua not a tough fight? Anthony Joshua's not a tough fight? <laughs> so, 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 so if, if, if that's the case, then yeah. That's why he don't want Anthony Joshua to have a full training camp. That's why. Oh, he's broken. Wasn't everybody saying that about Anthony Joshua because of that outburst he made and that, that, that scene he had at the end when he had that meltdown? Yeah, everybody was saying he was mentally weak. He was broken inside. Okay, then. You don't think Tyson Fury felt the same thing? Of course, he said it. And then you're going to offer him a fight? That's why, as I said before, so he can look spectacular against Anthony Joshua beat him worse than Usyk did and then it's like oh shit yo this guy his stock even goes up even more now because now he's definitely going to be the favorite to beat Usyk you understand because they're going to compare their performances doesn't mean that he beats Usyk you know if, if 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 he was to do better against Anthony Joshua than Usyk did but guess what that's how most people are going to look at it and already they're trying to make him to be the a-side you understand what I'm saying? Well, for that to be the case, that he shouldn't take a tough fight, that sounds really stupid. And if y'all don't think that Anthony Joshua is a tough fight, and he don't think that Anthony Joshua is a tough fight, well, are you saying it doesn't make a difference if you fight AJ? Or if he fights uh, this guy, what's I forgot his name already. <laughs> this This nobody. I mean, are you putting Anthony Joshua in the same class as him? So he already has a deal, a three-fight deal. Y'all saw it. That's where this came from. So I'm saying, okay, a three-fight deal to fight Joyce Dubois and Fury. He, he, he basically, you know, shot himself in the foot in terms of trying to make Anthony Joshua look, look bad. I mean, of course, fanboys are going to believe what they want to believe. But looking at this man's actions, you 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 clearly say, this is why I say when you when people are talking up on Tyson Fury's behalf, you guys are not listening to yourselves. You know, in this type of situation where all of you look at the comments you leave on videos. Yeah, but it's not fair for him to have to fight. Nobody's first of all, he chooses to want to fight. That's that's on him. That's that he has that's his prerogative. Nobody has to try to oblige with, oh, well, okay, you want to fight before I get it. with So, yeah, I'm going to fight whenever you want me to so it's comfortable for you. Forget me. It's all about you so you can be ready for Usyk. That has nothing to do with his opponent. If his opponent says, okay, yeah, we can fight, then all of a sudden now, well, you got to sign a contract, you know, right away and then trying to rush, rush, rush. Then, I mean, everything, even all the way up to the point of him saying he's just so disappointed that he didn't get the AJ fight. So basically, look, the terms are going at a normal pace. It's just the fact that he is the one trying to rush, rush. He doesn't want the details to be sorted out. He doesn't care. That's his business. He calls Manuel Char's name out. Like I said, they were going back and forth. 
with each other on Instagram. And then he ends up talking about, oh, well, you stepped up to the plate. I like that. He respects that. So Manuel Char and Anthony Joshua are on the same level. Hmm, I see. Well, say it how you like. Y'all saw the information. The guy wants, he wanted to fight Manuel Char from the very beginning. It's obvious. It's evident. After you were told by Usyk that he wasn't going to be ready to fight you by December, you still decide to use Usyk's name and say you have to fight a middleweight. I have to get rid of the middleweight first. So wait, you mean to tell me? Think about what I'm think about what I'm saying. If you beat Usyk, you are actually going to consider fighting Manuel Char. So you wanted a soft touch before. Usyk, then you wanted a soft touch after Usyk? Because Usyk had already told you that, no, um, there's no way I'll be ready. You understand what I'm saying? So then you reach out to Anthony Joshua. So, yeah, that makes all the sense in the world to say he, he is not fair for him to have. I don't understand that. I don't, I don't understand how you can justify it's not fair for him to have a tough fight before Usyk is a fucking fighter. He chose to fight. Okay, cool. He's not coming off of a loss or losses. You understand? So, yeah. You don't want Anthony Joshua. You don't want him to be fully prepared. You want to catch him in that weak mental state. We all know this, man. We all know this. And that's why they were already cut the deal with Manuel Chalk. And I believe they probably was, yo, don't talk about it too much. You know, we'll say that. They probably even planned what they was going to say to each other on these videos. Just, you know, say this, say that. But didn't have it well thought out. Especially when you look and see all of these you know, these videos, these channels where people are taking your side, your little fanboys make you feel justified in what you're doing. Fraudulent, bro. Fraudulent. And again, look, listen to the video. He's trying to make it sound like Manuel Char is calling him out. No, Manuel Char is responding to you and Frank Warren. That's what he's doing. He's responding. He's not calling you out. He's telling you, okay, you said my name, right? Make sure, let, let, let's fight, fight me. AJ don't want to fight. Usyk don't want to fight. Fight me. You called my name. This is what he's telling Fury. And Fury's standing here talking about, uh, you know, I like I like the fact that you 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 called out the champion. And, oh, let's go. Let's get it on, motherfucker. And all that bullshit. That's who the WBC champion is getting ready to share the ring with. And you guys are okay with that. So what's he going to do after that? Fight Trevor Bryant? Hmm? Get Bermain Stavern out of retirement? Fight him? What, what? I mean, what? What? what's next? And after what you just saw, if you are willing to pay for that shit or even buy a ticket and go to that shit, all y'all, you might as well just have Tyson Fury's name tattooed on your ass cheeks, on your chest, everybody part. So anytime you look in the mirror, you got full coverage. Get, get save your head, ball. Get his face tattooed in the head, cause you guys are you. You guys are worse than fanboys. You you guys are below. It's like this, is like a whole new level of fanboyism with this whole shit. There is no way for me. I look at a fight and say, okay, who's fighting? Nah, I'm not ordering that shit. Who's fighting? Okay, yeah, I go to that fight. Yeah, that that, that should be a good fight. There's no way I wouldn't watch Manuel Char fight anyone. I don't want to see him fight anybody. He's awful. He is a trash fighter. And the fact that Fury's even entertaining that shit. But you tell Joe Joyce he has to build himself up. He's not ready yet. What you mean? Joe Joyce will destroy Manuel Char. So basically, you want to talk everybody into believing all these guys are easy fights for you. None of them. They're not on your level. You're like levels above. Then that means... It doesn't matter who you fight, does it? Now, we don't expect him and Joe Joyce to fight in December. Joe Joyce just fought. You know, and, and of course, you know, you, you want to have a full training camp. Not going in and rush because somebody's trying to rush you. But, just saying. Take it for what it is. You guys saw the video. If you haven't seen Manuel Char fight before, you've seen him now. You understand what it is. This man... They can say what they want 
oh, Eddie Hearn is holding the contract on purpose. He wanted Tyson Fury to walk away. They tried to spin the narrative. And, you know, we haven't been hearing much from Anthony Joshua. Well, we haven't been hearing. There's funny people like, why come Anthony Joshua so quiet? We ain't been hearing from him. We haven't been hearing from Anthony Joshua, you know, since the Usyk fight. The only thing we saw about Anthony Joshua was a little freestyle and then a little short video about him saying that, of course, I'm going to sign the contract. No, plain and simple. He said, of course, I'm going to sign the contract. He said, you know, um, you know, it's up to the, um, it's up to the, to the, to the legal teams. Simple. Why do we need to keep hearing a bunch of arguing and going back and forth? No, we heard all we really need to hear in terms of he said, she said. Eddie Hearn is handling that. At the same time, what is he saying? Anthony Joshua's training. So for this guy to even, oh, he he, he needs to know who he's fighting. He knows who he's fighting. He's always, he always knew who he was fighting. Nothing new. What you guys need to understand is no matter what you say, no matter how you try to, to take sides and act like you don't hear the evidence and see what's going on, you guys who are sitting up here very, very us, and you guys are being stiffed. If this is if 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 this is acceptable to you guys, so be it. Just know Aries won't be tuned in to see this shit. Anyway, talk to me in the comment section. Never fall in love with lies. Remember the truth brings hate out of people, and I will catch y'all in the next video.